Hi Claire is Hollywood's favorite castle. Today we're gonna take a look inside of it. Welcome back to the success. Let's get into the video. A house with history. High Claire Castle is built in Jacobin style with nods to Renaissance style and Gothic architecture. One of the most recognizable features is its slender towers, which viewers are likely to start spotting once they know how to look for them whenever the exterior is used as a location in a film or TV show. However, there are plenty of locations inside the manor. It has 300 rooms, Eagle-eyed viewers may become familiar with its vaulted ceilings and massive atrium. According to High Clare Castle's website, the earliest written histories of the castle date back to the year 749. But the building we now know as High Clare wasn't built until 1942. The third Lord Caranavon hired a well-known architect named St. Charles Barry, who had recently rebuilt the Houses of Parliament. Despite this momentous achievement, Barry would go on to consider High Clare one of the best projects. According to CR Fashion Book, at one time the Hampshire, England estate had an extensive staff, 14 footmen, 3 butlers, and 50 maids. The grounds may also be familiar to viewers, while they are less distinctive than the pointed towers of the house, they are no less sculptural and carefully designed. The classic English gardens are broken up follies, they were built in the 1700s and have Greek themes such as Corinthian columns and Temple of Diana. As well as being the home of many well-known fictional characters, High Clare Castle is still a real home today to the 8th Earl and Countess of Carnarvon. As to pretend you're Lady Mary if you want to be, or some of the, you know, illustrious guests from the past. In the Victorian era. Decades of film, television, and music video. The Missionary, a 1982 film starring Michael Palin featuring the castle as an estate that the main character visited, in 1987, the exterior was used in the classic 1987 children's movie, The Secret Garden, this time as a Misslewaith Manor. From 1990 to 1993, the estate featured frequently as Totley Towers in the popular TV comedy Jeeves and Wooster, starring Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie. In 1991, the manor appeared in the film King Ralph and in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Perhaps most surprisingly, the stately salon provided an interior location for Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut. Yes, that scene. In 2002, it was used for interior shots. The time this salon was used as a settling for the film, The Four Feathers, starring Heath Ledger and Kay Hudson. Fans of John Legend will remember this 2006 song, Heaven. The video is packed with religious symbolism, but the exteriors are shot on the grounds of High Clare Castle, with the incredible architecture clearly visible in the background. Picture being the client of Chip and Joanna Gaines, working on redoing your house, then realizing you're sitting on a huge gold mine. That's what these renters discovered when they first... Downtown Abbey makes High Clare Castle iconic. While the property has clearly always been a favorite for shooting anything that needs to project an aura of old money grandeur, interest in High Clare Castle spiked with the release of Downtown Abbey. Executive producer of Downtown Abbey, Julian Fellows, is a family friend of the Earl and Lady of Carnarvon, and they allowed him to set the series in the main house. Many productions have used the manor as a setting, but Downton Abbey went so far as to integrate the real history of High Clare Castle into the lore of the show. For instance, during World War II, the Countess of Carnarvon opened a room to the wounded soldiers, which Downton Abbey loosely used as a storyline by having Downton be used as a convalescent home during the war. The real High Clare Castle was also host to royals, and a royal visit was used as the inciting incident in the recent Downton Abbey feature film. Downton Abbey ran for six seasons with an average of 9.6 million viewers per episode, all shot at High Clare Castle. The estate, already highly recognizable, became beloved. Chim so I wanted to give you an insight into what it's like to live in an extraordinary house. So whilst you're watching Downton Abbey, perhaps on TV, paying picnics in cottage overnights at the most famous house in the world. Since Downton Abbey aired, the visitor total at High Clare was doubled, and they're willing to pay Tom Dollar to walk the grounds and see the inside what has been called the most famous house in the world. Superfans schedule champagne picnics in the gardens and guided tours of the castle. For some, though, just visiting isn't enough. At the moment, the castle provides limited stays in a few cottages on the property. And for a single night in November of 2019, they opened up the main building itself to a select few on Airbnb for those who wanted to indulge in the fantasy. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.